Welcome by the Politics Watch. This is Serpy. Now, today I'm going to talk about the big bust. I'm going to go on now to some place. Food truck discovered. Right, for be a front for a major right, diet coke and legal matic operation. After six months right, of studying, tracking, investigating Uncle Sam running. The truck right, even have the audacity to have the Jamaican flag on it. We really want to talk about this how people like this help arm the American guy, Canadian guy, foreign guy in general. Right. With the ammunition, if you say, see, this is why we have to deal with them Jamaican guys. We could talk about how legit Jamaican do this one work, earn some money, provide for them family, still get treat the same. Right. Like their criminal peers right, are foreign. I'm going to focus on foreign for the video because foreign is something. Why I focus on foreign is because if you don't make about such man, there was a part tonight where I say right, the most exceptional of Jamaicans right, go foreign and are still second class citizens. And the most mediocre foreign guy, Iron Man, and a first class citizen. Many Jamaicans embrace this image, by the way. Just make enough Jamaicans enjoy being perceived as quote unquote Batman. When them see the foreign guy make the jokes, quote unquote jokes, when them see Billy Joe mimic Jamaican, Billy Joe, uh, you know, take on this Batman persona or start to act erratic and or start to be, you know, very like super X rated for no reason at all. Jamaican smile, they're like, oh look, see, they want to be like us. No, they're mocking you because you consider it an honor when foreign people, especially Billy Joe, give you any attention. You tell yourself, so they want to be like you. They're mocking you. Oh, them love with them love with. It's a fetish. It's not love. Might have to make a separate video on that. No phone don't know the difference between fetish and love. No phone thinks that because somebody willing to sit down with you or even have intercourse with you. That means they don't love you. No, it's oftentimes just a fetish. No for the woman they may fly down for you know rub a dub with the iron man. Some of them it's a fetish. Just like on the plantation, back right like getting eagle eye from some of them black sleep, then thinking they love them. I know people who are fetish. We well, don't know the difference between fetish, mockery, and them things. They just perceive all attention as good. If I look at me and I talk to me, and they want to say that me, that must mean they ain't like me. Well, I say, enough Jamaicans love to be perceived as good as good. Bad man. It's tough guy image. It's criminal image. Shatter. And people say, you're Jamaican or you shatter? I say, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, mean, man. You know, um... You know jungle? Yeah man, yeah man, come from jungle. Every Jamaican come from Kingston. Every Jamaican, because Kingston was originally the place that go viral for being Batman place. Every Jamaican, I mean, everyone in the world that Kingston ain't come from. But there are some Jamaicans who just want to go about business. And don't want to be perceived on the quote unquote shutter. People like them in that story make it hard for those Jamaicans. These Irish Saxons. Right. Oodler run real spice. Yes, the Irish Saxons. One day I'm going to make a whole video on what the Irish Saxon is. These Irish Saxons, I understand. When you see them big gun and, and drug running operation, and you may feel it than them at the local level. Irish Saxons. They're not fighting a war. They're not fighting a revolutionary war against a colonial master to try and give independence and freedom. Right? And ends them a try run off and lock off and control turf and show so them are the wickedest thing on so. Right, these are Irish Saxons. Right, when they go far and buy a gun, those guns end up in the streets murdering predominantly black lives at an extraordinary rate. The KKK don't have nothing upon some of these Irish Saxons. Trust me. Probably envy them. So I'm play a little clip. Right, and then get back to the comments to check this one. 
A food truck in Orange County, New York, apparently selling a whole lot more than just meals inside. Take a look at the drugs and the guns that police say were hidden in takeout containers. Mm. 30 people were busted. Cops say the ring made millions selling narcotics and weapons out of a supposed food truck parked in downtown Newburgh. Investigators say they busted one of the largest drug operations in the history of Orange County. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis. The lot across the street from Newburgh City Court is the spot for food trucks, but one regular is missing. The Real Spice truck has been relocated to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, not to serve up Jamaican food. It's been seized because of other items that were for sale. It sold food, it sold guns, and it sold cocaine. And Mr. Salmon was the epicenter of that. That would be 42-year-old Kirkland Salmon, one of 30 people arrested in what's considered the largest gun trafficking and drug bust in Orange County. Named Operation Hot Lunch, investigators spent six months purchasing illegal guns, firearms that were often packaged in food containers. The guns were brought up from North Carolina, the drugs from Florida. So, let me say, this is the blast of the whole light. Let's take a look at it. Let's get an idea of what going So, it's a food shop. And you can get all the illegal matic too. That means you can walk up to the counter and say, Yo, Kirkland, give me a curry chicken back and a glock. Give me the white rice, curry chicken back, a fat glock, and about eight extra shot. And put the curry curry gravy upon the glock. Make sure there's some kids to hang right there. So, yeah, yeah, look, look. All right, no, I'm not on a veg. Not a time for that. That's for nerds. You know what really hurt me about this story? I mean, people use legitimate business as a front for criminal operation all the time. It's nothing new. But you know what really irked me? Irk, I R K. When me I watch the video, I'm gonna see the big old Jamaican flag. On the back. These Irish Saxons of the audacity, the unmitigated gall. To put the Jamaican flag on their drug and gun running operation. After Uncle Sam don't charge them, Iron Man needs to also charge them. Is there a charge on the books in Iron Man for that? Put in your, you have to be a special type of scumbag to be running an operation like this, knowing the reputation Jamaica have for crime and violence and badness and all them sitting there. And if you slap on the Jamaican flag, panny, you have to be a special type of scumbag. That level of scumbaggery, no come overnight, has to be perfected. It's the people that put out statements, uh, the, coming to where, where one of the men come from, I say, oh, they're in shock, and they can't believe them, can't, they're always shocked. They never believe nothing yet. Everything catch them by surprise. All if him did have 500 dopey, they may still shock. When sci fi dead, they say, me no know about that. And no money now go back to Iron Man, no links. No one not got far and go link him not one time. Nobody knows somebody no, nobody knows nothing yet. Jamaica where everybody know your business. They never know about the criminal business yet. The irony. Jamaicans can't tell you how much negla you get in your whole life, but then can't tell you say. Uh, the place where you are running a cell gun and drugs. That's it though. Nobody know nothing. This criminal element with that far, you know. We continue to help. Make other countries shape their views and even their laws or them treat Jamaicans, you know. They are so predictable that if a country want to Jamaica or something, all them have to do is say, we could just sit back and watch. Right? Them do all about foolishness and then tell us, bring out this law now and just punish the whole of them. That's what the UK did with the visa, you know. You think that Jamaicans alone go to England, right? go push the head coke and go out with foolishness. They're like, oh, don't worry, man. We have something. We know said them set them must come give themselves be a problem. And instead them do it with us, we just drop it on the whole nation, national visa. Everybody have to go through it. Them never say British link up and then they never say rifle and in family and in friend then the whole Jamaica no have visa restrictions. It's so predictable that if they want to punish Jamaica as a whole, then just sit back and wait. Don't worry, we know say man. foolishness must go on. And that will be our ammunition. When the big up man are far in one run place and a lack of ends up, them on the road New York and them on the run off the, the, the ends and the, the, the Toronto and the, when they clap and laugh. 
When the clap and laugh come, you can't see past in the nose. This is it. How them youth they go on a foreign help shape how these countries treat the average Jamaican who don't have nothing for the crime. When they can't wait for brag about how when a friend them run off right, in a New York and run off right, Cali. Thinking to these people, you see, one of the things that may catch Jamaicans by surprise is because Jamaicans know, say, no matter what foreign guy do, Jamaica now punish no foreign country as no whole. No matter what Yankee guy do in that Iron Man, Jamaica now punish Uncle Sam as no whole. Because unlike Uncle Sam and Canada and UK and Germany and these places that put their citizens first, and put themselves first, Jamaica put foreigners first. So the Jamaican brain can't comprehend why Smuddy would have used any excuse they can get to keep out of all star people. Our brains can't even process that because we are conditioned to be one giant open arms. Iry man, no problem man. And as I said, people can react what they want to react you know, in the name of quote unquote national security. They can do what they want to do. But we know say them find one food truck full of Uncle Sam people they must sell gun and drugs to Iron Man. Like we know Jamaica. And I will just chalk it up to one of them things there. Right. The average American will not be getting treated like no criminal when they walk on Iron Man. They won't. They will still be held in high regard. Especially Joe and Gwyneth. And Americans are gonna see this as a seat we told you about these Jamaicans. We told you about these Jamaicans, I'm telling you man, telling you man, these Jamaicans man, and to be honest, I can't even sell no unicorns yet, so. if this was the other way around, and me here say, one Chinese food truck will claim to sell egg fried rice and chow mein, get discovered that sell drugs and guns in half a tree, then I would jump on this same platform right there so and i would ask the question how many more of these food trucks are the same thing and i would say well how many more say mr chino this and i do it okay if this one i sell you much millions of dollars with a diet coke right? an illegal matic how do we know it's only one these are fair questions to ask you know it's not fear say the man who have him legit food truck away dig up but these are fear questions to ask. And the whole of we would have said, hey, Mr. Chin, tap your eyes. Go blame your bridging Chung Ching, right? Because of him, right? In half a tree, bowl and brazen, dry highly, I sell drugs and guns. So we have to see if more or not the same thing. That's what we would say, speak justice. We let them go say. And the Jamaican food truck that is a food truck now, all of a sudden, have. People are looking at it differently. Because you know what? Jamaicans don't get the benefit of the doubt of foreign. The Jamaican who probably sell every goat and cow in my yard to buy him food truck will actually sell food. No one under greater scrutiny. And who will hold everybody and cost everybody except the people them will continue. Forgive Uncle Sam. And the Canadians and the British, the ammunition to make life harder for Jamaicans. If Chung Ching get catch and sell that coke and guns in half a tree and things get rough for the Chinese immigrants, they must find a way to deal with him. Because they're going to say, since you come with your foolishness, you mash up life for the rest of it. That we will survive in just fine. But Jamaicans will not hold them shatter friend them accountable for it. Instead, them big them up. Them write poems and love songs about them. And it gets worse. When you read the article about it, it says the truck was operating within 150 feet of the city's courthouse. Do you think Uncle Sam is going to tolerate that kind of disrespect? Do you think Uncle Sam is going to make a bunch of Irish Saxons get away with selling 
illegal matic and diet coat next to them courthouse 150 feet these people are taunting a machine right, that tramples over things it don't even need to trample over much less will it have a reason for trample well let them not listen to me these Irish Saxons are using a stick to poke a grizzly bear putting your food truck where I sell diet coke and illegal matic in a New York of all places we don't even want them citizens of legal matic if you are sell illegal matic and diet coke within 150 feet of the city's courthouse is like taking a stick and juking a polar bear in its side and then being surprised you get mauled it goes on to mention say Kirkland someone who's the owner and operator of the truck he's one of 30 when they will happen 30 people guarantee you me and go start call them say them say but not in farmer we go see why in farmer now them say they not like in farmer in farmer we not go see if you think 30 people are keep them mouth shut right me have a new generation of unicorn to sell you listen to this another those food truck man might get target now uncle sam said they can find out that a barber shop served as the stash house because you know barber shop bring everybody right barber shop bring from Carlton to Sci-Fi, everybody right, passed through the barber shop. From the most clean cut to the most nefarious. So for six months, and however long before that, them sit down there. I laugh every day. Probably in the same barber shop, I laugh. I said, well, within 150 feet of courthouse, I said illegal matic and diet coke. And Uncle Sam can't catch me. They don't know about it. Not knowing, say, Uncle Sam country is a place where we sit down and I'll watch you sell chicken back and illegal glock. Uncle Sam would all come and buy the chicken back and illegal glock. That machine is in no rush for run down the man. Six months, them sit down and watch them for. And build this case against them. Six months. These Irish Saxons probably used to run case. Uh, Friend, then police hold on upon them, carry them gas station, lock them up, not on upon them, let them go. That they used to. Uncle Sam and them country that was still going to buy the food from him for six months. He will buy the dead coke. He will buy the gun. He might like put you on one link for you get more dead coke. And they make the case get even stronger upon you. These Irish Saxons were within 150 feet of the city's courthouse. Operate. Probably I tell them currency you know they smart. Right under the boy them nose and they can't catch me. Not knowing they've been caught a long time ago. I just case them a bill. Man, they have gun them in a food box. People make life harder for Jamaicans. You know. We go find for actually something the opportunity. And even if they make fifty million dollar from the badness, with them do the gun, buy more gun and and buy more shot and fight more war till them eventually dead or go to prison. Them don't do one thing with the money anyway. So them talk about make, make the money, make the money, make the money. And them don't do nothing with the money anyway. Them Pitney come and live just like everybody else Pitney. It's a nearly 40 different law enforcement agencies. Right. Work together, you know. That case just seal up, you know. The man them not guess nothing, you know, the man them buy the gun them, you know, and buy the diet coke. You think you're like gonna run something like this under the nose of Uncle Sam. 30 people, the question now is who is going to give more info? I'm sure out of the 30, enough of them probably tell you, say, look, you do buy in farmer. Enough of them go and join the fraternity right now. They go and join the farmer fraternity. Not only them go join, but them go pass out my rank. And my rank is big in farmer. Them a jump straight to the top, the highest of ranking in farmers. Okay, if you think 30 men keep them out quiet, the story is insane. You have to see it to believe it. You have to see it to believe it. Anyway, 
Be a squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know more life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.